Greetings programs. This is Air Guns Nirvana with a detailed look at how I cut and crown the barrels for my custom Crossman Air Guns. Now what you see here is a 24 inch barrel from Crossman and 22 caliber. I was going to make this barrel for my 2289 and I wanted it about 13 inches long. So measuring from the breech out to about 13 and a 32nd, I marked it with a felt tip pen. Then I wrapped the breech in 10 times with blue painter's tape. And then down here where I made my line, I wrapped it 10 times with blue painter's tape. Then I chucked it up in my poor man's lathe, which is simply a drill press laid on its side. I had to clock the floor plate 90 degrees so that the barrel would clear. And since I had no way to support the barrel while it was spinning in the drill press, I had to use my hand. So with the barrel spinning, I took a cutoff wheel and nipped the end of the barrel off. And at this point, I figured I had ruined the barrel. But since it couldn't get any worse, I thought I'd continue on and see how it turned out. With the barrel spinning, I took a flat metal file holding it 90 degrees to the length of the barrel and started filing the barrel end down, checking my progress as I went. At this point, I thought I had a good flat surface, so it was time to start sanding. I took some 400 grit wet dry sandpaper, coated it with a thin film of CLP, and using the file as a backer and the barrel spinning in the drill press, I sanded the end of the barrel. Checking my progress, and I was pretty happy with that. So with the 400 grit sandpaper, I took the chuck from the drill press and used it to recess the crown. Now I simply held the 400 grit sandpaper to the crown of the barrel and worked this in and out to form the crown. I did not wiggle this in back and forth this way. It was a simple in out process. Here you can see the crown starting to form. Did a little more and then it ended up looking like that. So from the 400 grit I went to 800 grit sandpaper using the same process. Not only did I work the surface of the crown, but also the recess. Then from 800, I went to 2000 grit with the same process, working the surface of the crown as well as the recess. And that's how it looked after all the sanding was done. Then I removed the painter's tape and noticed there was a rough edge here on the barrel. So taking the file and the 2000 grit sandpaper at an angle with the barrel spinning in the drill press, I worked the edge over and smoothed it off. And that's the end result there. I wrapped the barrel again in blue painter's tape, 10 wraps, and took it over to the buffing wheel. And here's the results. I think they turned out pretty good. Also. The barrel for my 2250, I left it stock, but I reworked the crown on it as well. Simply working the face with the flat file, 400 grit, 800 grit, 2000 grit, and then buffing it with the buffing wheel. I hope you enjoyed the information that was given. Please feel free to post questions and comments. I'll be happy to answer any question I can. Thank you and have a good day.